Hey, so I'm back. Um, if you don't already know me, my name is Charlotte. And today I thought I'd do things a little bit different. So just a little bit about me first. Let me get comfortable because this is going to be a long chat. So a little bit about me first is I'm a mum of three. I am, mum was two. I'm a mum of three, three. <laughs> Um, I'm a wife, I got married four years ago, four, yeah, <laughs> probably shout at me if you've seen this and I'm thinking about it too much, my memory is absolutely awful, as you can tell, um, I am a lifestyle influencer over on a whole lot 11 on Instagram, um, TikTok and Pinterest. Um, I'm also on Facebook, it just automatically posts though. I don't really do much on my Facebook one, it just posts for me. I just use that to share to my actual personal profile so then more my people that I know. My people? What do I think I am? More that the people, more of the people that I know can see it. I'm currently doing a youth work course which please bear with me because it's completely thrown the spanner in the works i start my placement there tomorrow and i am absolutely shitting myself so i planned this video and just before i was going to start recording it i had a phone call to arrange my days i'm starting and i'm starting tomorrow and yeah it's completely thrown me now so i'm a bit like all over the place so please please bear with me because I am shitting myself. I I don't know why. It's what I want to do. So obviously I know I'm going to enjoy it. Well, I hope I'm going to enjoy it. I've been doing the bloody coursework since September. So I hope I'm going to enjoy it. Um, but it's just the new racking thing. It's something new. Um, there's a fact like, what if the kids don't like me? What if I'm a horrible youth worker? What if I just say the wrong thing? Or I... I accidentally swear in front of them or, you know, I've got to try and be professional. I, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I feel like I can do it, but it's the nerve wracking thing in my head. My anxiety goes through the roof and I'm just thinking, what if I say the wrong thing? What if I make a fool of myself? What if I'm wearing the wrong thing? Like. Do you, you don't want to dress up too smart because you're a youth worker, you're not a teacher. You're trying to look more casual and be on their level, but at the same time, you want to look professional. So it's like, where's the fine line but there? I, I don't know. Anyway, a few hours later, <laughs> I, I realised lately, I've been going through my videos on YouTube and on my instagram i've been doing like a little review of my own stuff basically and i realized that it's got to the point now that it's gone almost robotic and i feel like i'm losing that part of me the little bit of personality behind everything so i thought i'd bring it back a bit take back the layers take back the makeup i haven't got no makeup on at the minute so please don't judge um so I thought I'd just bring it all back to basics and try and be a bit more me. Um, it's so easy when being an influencer to post because you feel you need to. Part of being an influencer, you need to be consistent. So if you're trying to be consistent all the time, it's really hard to find stuff to connect with the audience that you were trying to reach, trying to connect with the people that you're speaking to. And at the same time, making sure you're consistent. You need plenty of content that's going to be relatable or that's going to be um, knowledgeable or beneficial to the person who is looking. You're not making it for yourself. And often I'm even guilty of this. And this is part of the reason why I decided to do this um, video. I'm guilty of uploading photos and then not be any anything for anybody to gain from it it's just a pretty photo it's a photo i like 
I've not told them anything about me. I've not told them where the outfit's from or I've not I've not said anything. I've literally just uploaded a photo that's pretty and put a little quote on some hashtags. And like why unless they follow me and they enjoy my content already, people are not gonna connect with that, they're not gonna be bothered. Anybody can post a photo uh, pretty photo if they do their right angles and they you know feel confident in themselves at the time anybody can post a pretty photo so i felt like i needed to kind of like bring it back a bit so i've started this this is going to be a series so my series is going to be called spill the tea with me because i'm a big drinker of tea and i just thought we need to be honest as influencers, as people. I'm so honest in real life that sometimes I feel like it gets me into trouble. I feel like sometimes I'm like, why the hell did I just say that? Like, you know, there's honest and then there's being like, people think I'm rude, but I'm, I'm not being rude. I mean it in the best possible way when I say stuff. I try to be as transparent as I can be with people and like I said, sometimes I panic and worry that I'm I'm overstepping a little bit and I've got to be like, I, I don't mean this in a bad way. Like, I hope you're all right because I don't want you to feel that way. I just want you to know the truth. And yeah, like sometimes it can get me into trouble because I am too honest sometimes. But I think it's the best way to be. Um, I know that all my friends know exactly where they stand with me because... I won't bullshit them. I'm not going to tell them stuff and not mean it. I'm not going to lie to them if they ask me something. So I feel like it's a good thing because my friends know exactly who I am. But to somebody who doesn't know me as well, perhaps I might come across as being a bitch. And I don't want that. I really don't. I am quite a nice person when... You get to know me. I, I don't mean to intend to come across as a bitch to anybody. So if you ever think I am a bitch, I'm really sorry. I don't want to be like that. I don't want you to think that. So um, the person you see on the screen when you're doing influencing, often we come across as confident and having your shit together and just I don't know not okay in the world now for some to some extent that is true because I found since influencing my confidence has grown massively but I'm confident behind the screen I'm confident behind the camera I'm not confident talking in person unless I really know you um Often I found myself for doing the school run, for example, and I'll be walking, pushing the baby in the pram. And um, I see somebody that I know that I speak to and I'm like doing the little check where you're like, do I look up? Do I do I say hi? And then you go to say hi and then you're like, oh, they've looked away. So should I put my head down now? And then it's like, Oh, I think I've gone too far now, so I can't say hiya because I'm too close to them. So if I look up, it's really awkward. And then you walk past and then you feel like you're really, really rude. But I'm just not confident in person. I'm quite an anxious person. I do have my days when I will easily just be like, oh yeah, you're right, and that's it. But other days, I am so awkward and I feel like if I haven't spoken to you in a long time as well, it's worse. Like, there's people I used to speak to all the time at the school and... We literally used to speak every day. And now, because our kids are in a different class, it's like, you don't see each other as much. So you're like, hey, yeah, you okay? And I'm always that person as well. When people say to me, are you all right? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. And I forget to say you. I forget to be like, yeah, I'm all right, are you okay? Because I feel really awkward saying, yeah, you. Because I feel like I'm going back to school saying, yeah, you. And I don't know why. I'm so awkward. And I will I will think about that then for the rest of the day. That will be on my mind. 
that will be something that is proper playing on my mind when that person just doesn't think anything of it so yeah i i'm not the confident person that i portray on photos obviously on photos and videos you're not gonna be like <laughs> if you if you took a photo and you was just like you know nobody's gonna nobody's gonna want to want to buy whatever you're trying to promote or nobody's going to be like oh i want to follow them unless you're doing it like a funny thing then you know some people like that but i'd feel too self-conscious doing that i'd probably look like an absolute dick doing it but there we are and then it's strange though because at parties like kids parties i don't care i'll be up dancing like, I'll be the first one to be dancing to the Macarena. The other day, me and my kids went to a party and um, there was no, like, adults there that I proper, like, spoke to and everything. Like, I think I was the only adult there that, like, was proper friendly. I was, I was the only adult there and there was nobody, like, I was really friendly with there that's... I knew that I could just sit by and be like, really confident with. So when I did end up going, I ended up being on the dance floor, dancing with my daughter. Um, and I think we were the only ones on the dance floor, literally the only ones. But when it's for the kids, I just feel like, why not i want them to feel confident i don't want them to be like the way i was i was too scared to dance i was too scared to sing now i don't care i really don't but then i'm so anxious talking to people i i can dance badly and i don't care about posting photos and videos there's a video on online right now from the weekend of me singing and like the camera's right up in my face because when you take the selfie when you're drunk your face is always like that and you show all your chins and everything off and yeah there's a photo of me going around like that right now but i just don't care about stuff like that but then when it comes to actually talking i do which is really strange because i am literally making a talking youtube video right now but there's a lot more to being an influencer than people think and there's there's stuff behind the scenes that you don't realize like one thing now listen up because i'm probably gonna get kicked out of all the ones i'm in for this but there's engagement groups and instagram and all that doesn't like engagement groups so you know but there are engagement groups, which is basically a lot of people, like-minded people, all becoming influencers, where they're all supporting each other. And we all post our photos into a chat and then they will like and comment. They don't have to, it depends on what group you're in. Some groups, it is rules to actually engage with people and make sure you're liking and commenting on their stuff. Other groups is just, you do what you want. Now, personally, I've always been the one, like, I will always engage with everybody because I think everybody deserves that support. Why not? Why are you better than anybody else? Why not help others? But a lot of the time, group chats like that, they end up getting arguments. And I recently left one because there was a lot of arguing in there. And it was draining my my mind like my head was just all over the place like there was people being horrible to each other in there and i left it and i'm i'm the type of person who i will not hold back and i i told them how it was and i was just like this is disgusting you're all grown women stop bullying people and i left that chat because i just felt like it was just ridiculous so i am still in one or two but i'm not i'm not in as many as i used to be because i just feel like i want to do it more 
authentically now and I'm not going to support people that are cruel and people, some of them are, not everybody, like the majority of the people I've met in these groups are absolutely amazing and I, I have made some genuine friends through these groups and there's people that I, I truly respect and I've always been such like amazing support for me and I've always been like there and supporting their stuff as well and I have made some great friends off there like um and like I would check their content now and I would engage with the content without being in any groups do you know what I mean so I have made a few people through there and that's that's a positive and I've learned a lot because those groups are not just about sending your photos in but it's tips and, and tricks for people who are just starting out and the best apps to edit stuff on the best things to schedule your posts on there's all these type of information behind it and um there's a the support from that as well and sometimes as well there's some people will be like post their photo in there and be like shall i upload this one today and see what it looks like with your grid or is this photo worthy enough for my my feed so there is a lot of support behind them but there is a lot of bitchiness as well so i think when you have that many women in one group chat they just sometimes just well clashes so you know you can you can understand i mean 200 odd people or more sometimes and you're gonna get one or two that you're gonna not like or you're gonna fall out with um but yeah so my mental health through influencing has been like up and down so much and i feel like it's an important thing to talk about because social media is the best thing ever but it is also the worst thing ever like it's so beneficial because of all the opportunities now that we're able to have through social media the fact that we can build careers through social media it still blows my mind and it amazes me because who wouldn't want to be able to build their own their own career through their own it's, it's easier to be self-employed put it that way you can have the potential of earning so much more money and the freedom of doing more stuff than what you could do in your normal nine to five job although technically speaking most jobs are nine to five these days but you know you you've got that that freedom a bit more with social media but there's also the negativity there's also like the comparing yourself to others there's um the fact that it is a strain on you like to be an influencer like i said you have to be consistent and i know people often think that an influencer's job is easy and it's just taking a photo and uploading it uploading it to your page it's not that easy at all there's a lot behind it like if you want to work with brands for example you've got to have it depends on what brand you work with but some of them you've got to have a certain amount of followers they've got to, you've got to have a certain amount of engagement rate which you can find if you're on a on a business profile or a creator profile so there's all that behind it you there's correct hashtags you can use you can actually get something called shadow band on instagram which means that you can't like or comment or post or something and your content won't get pushed out if you like and comment and post on too many people's stuff or follow too many uh, people in one go or unfollow too many people in one go you can get a ban from that there's a lot you need to think about then there's the music sometimes you can't use certain music in certain countries like one of my videos got um deleted the other day it's an old one but it just got deleted out the, out the blue because it said that it was um a violation because of sony music's um i don't know the legal terms and all of it but copyright or something so that had to be deleted and there was no way i could change the video up 
yeah, there's no way I could change the video up to actually keep the video. I had to just delete it. Um, but there is a lot behind it. And it's not as easy to grow on there as you think because you get a lot of fake accounts following you. So you get ones that are trying to scam you. You get ones that are like sugar daddies that are fake and again trying to scam you. You get people who will follow you and then be inactive for a while. So then Instagram like kind of does a clear out every so often and they'll wipe all of those accounts and your following will just go back down. So it's really difficult to grow. You might hit a milestone and be like, yes, and so chuffed for yourself. And then Instagram will go through and sort it out and you lost a lot. But with that being said, it is it is very beneficial because like I said, you've got the potential to grow massively. And I feel like there's nothing wrong with your normal nine to five job. There's nothing wrong or whatever I was really. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with these jobs, but I always aspired to be more than that. I aspired to have a job that I absolutely love. And I've worked in, I've worked in clothing stores. I have worked in beauty shop. I have worked in a um, factory. I have worked in a supermarket. I've worked in loads of different places and I've worked in catering. I've worked in a little corner shop. I have worked in lots of different places and none of them I thoroughly enjoyed. None of them I felt any passion towards. And if we're gonna be working in this job for however long, for the rest of our lives potentially, shouldn't we enjoy it? Shouldn't we actually feel passionate about our job? and feel like we're getting somewhere and feel like we're doing some good because personally i in every single job i liked it for a little bit because of the money and then i get bored and then i wouldn't want to go to work and then i'd be miserable obviously i would do it because the fact that otherwise i wouldn't get no money and everybody wants money obviously there's the financial gain, yeah. But when you've got the potential to earn more than that through like social media and or there's other avenues, I'm not sure. There's loads of different businesses you could do. When you've got the opportunity to do something that's gonna make you feel passionate about it, that's gonna make you excited to go to work. Yeah, not every day, not every day. Nobody likes their job 24 seven. And if you do, I, I don't believe you. If you think you do, I don't believe you. Because every single day is different. You could be absolutely drained. You're not gonna wanna get up and go to work. Like, I'm not saying you don't enjoy the job, but you won't enjoy it every single day. Doesn't mean you don't love your job. But yeah, it's, it, it is a difficult one. Like, I feel, we need to broaden our minds and strive for jobs where you can be more passionate and work towards your goals. A lot of us work so hard and don't get to see the benefits of it. Like how old you have to be these days to retire is unreal. And it's only gonna get worse by the time like I'm older. I'm 30 this year but by the time we get old enough it's only gonna get worse and I just think by that age I want to be in a position where I, I I can retire if I want to but it's my choice I want it to be my choice not somebody else's like if I feel like I'm in a financial, if I'm financially stable, I want to be able to be like, no, I'm going to actually enjoy life now. I'm going to do things with my family. I'm going to go places. I'm going to see the world. I'm going to do this. I don't want to be working my ass off until I die. And I know that sounds harsh, but that's just the truth. 
Like, I don't want to be doing that, and nobody does. Sorry, got a bit deep there. <laughs> but on, on the lighter note, I wanted to just talk about um, this series that I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be doing a little mini series um, if there's any topics in particular you would like me to cover, please leave a comment down below. But I'm looking at doing um, stuff about being a mother of three, like how I knew I was done after three. Um, originally, I always said I wanted four, so I'll let you know why it would end up being three. Um, I also want to do a little one about mental health because... My journey with mental health has not been easy. It's, it's been intense. And I feel like now a lot of people talk more about mental health. But it still could be more open. People still could talk more. There's still a lot of people taking their own lives, unfortunately. And I feel like the more exposure stuff like this guess the better the more people know that they're not alone the better so yeah i'm going to be doing a mental health one which is going to be a difficult one to do um but i feel like it's important um i'm also going to do a little one about my college but that's going to be a couple of weeks down the line yet because i want to see what my placement is like and see how I get on with that. This is kind of a podcast, but not officially named a podcast because I'm a bit nervous to say it's a podcast, to label it, because I don't know. I feel like I need one of those little mics before I can officially say it. it's a podcast. I don't know. But when I do eventually, officially make this a podcast i'm gonna have people talk on there as well it's not just gonna be me although i could talk for whales um that's all i do is talk and i know my father-in-law to watch this so he's probably getting ready to skip about now because how much i talk <laughs> um but yeah i just feel like this is more me. I feel like I can help people. I feel like I need to be more down to earth and I need to be more me. And if that's just me sat here talking to a camera for however long, then so be it. If nobody watches it, then at least I'm being true to myself. And if somebody watches it and it helps even just one person, then I'm happy. I've done my job. And fingers crossed they'll pay off but yeah if there's anything in particular you would like me to talk about please do let me know i'm going to be doing a q a as well um i've had a few questions on over on my instagram so if there's any questions that you would like to know the answer to please write the question down below and i'll put it in my next video which will be um on Saturday I think I'm not sure yet I'm not sure when I'm gonna put this one up because I've got college the next two days no I've got placement the next two days absolutely shitting it but yeah so I hope you've enjoyed this video and I know it's a bit different I know it's not a haul which everybody's used to on my channel but like I said, I wanted to connect more to you guys. I want you to know who I am and not just what clothes I wear and not just what my goals are because, yeah, goals are important and, yeah, I do love fashion. I do love um, unboxings and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, this is me. I'm not always done up. 90% of the day I am in my pyjamas 
if I'm not doing content and then I get ready really, really quickly and go and get the kids from school. I don't clean up every second of every day. My house isn't spotless. You know, I've got so much clothes upstairs to put away. It's unreal. I just wanted to show the real me behind the influencer. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you did. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like some more of these. And don't worry to those of you that do just like my hauls. There will be more coming. But I, I am taking a little break from doing the hauls and that at the moment. Only because... I am going to be starting my placement. So I'm not going to have as many hours in the day to actually do myself up constantly, to take photos, to take videos and then upload them. So I'm trying to just, I'm only taking on collaborations currently that approach me and I really, really love because I don't want to take on too much. Otherwise I will get overwhelmed. So I hope you can all understand that. And please, if you do still want to see those type of videos, just stay subscribed. They will be coming. I will notify you um, on my community tab. I will write like a little message for you guys just so you know when my next um, haul will be coming. So I will see you next time. Bye.